Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and if you guys are new here, welcome and today I'm going to do the season finale reaction to RuPaul's Drag Race season 14 which so excited about. The queens are here, it's the end of the season and you know each and every video I pick a comment from a last review and the comment that I chose today was I love this reunion because it was heartfelt, funny, and dramatic, which I think encompasses the season as a whole. To be honest, I also did forget about Orion, Orion's story, laugh out loud, because of how long this season was. Also, Maddie winning the worst dressed is like, I mean, girl, come on now. It's a straight man, but Maddie is funny. Overall, I am happy about the top five, and I'm rooting for Willow and, and, Day, and Daya, but I would be happy if any one of them snatched the crown. I feel so bad for Daya getting hate which shows how toxic this fan base can be. I loved your reactions and I look forward to seeing more. Thank you baby. Thank you for your comment. I totally appreciate it. As well as you guys, um, if you guys um, check on my community tab, I leave polls on there and, I, and, you guys, and you guys' comments on the polls have been killing me a lot lately so thank you for all the comments that you guys have been putting but the last poll that I put on was asking you guys who will be crowned this season and it was overwhelmingly 68 percent over almost 4,000 votes um 68 percent said Willow Pill is going to win this season hopefully so now this is what it is you guys okay let me break it on down to me my thinking how I think this is gonna go okay I think Willow Pill and Miss Lady Camden are going to lip sync for the crown and hear me out I'm rooting for Willow Pill okay I want Willow Pill to win but I think Lady Camden is going to win and the reason why I say that is because I think Lady Camden can lip sync better than, than Willow. And if there is a chance for Willow, she's going to have to pull a Sasha Valor. She's going to have to do a trick. She's going to have to do something to get over on Miss Lady Camden. Because I think she, Lady Camden sing, lip syncs dances performs better than willow pill on stage but it's up to miss willow pill to really dig deep into her into her pussy or something or her little drag bag you know what i'm saying her caboodle and really just pull out something that will shock the girls or do something that's different but those are my thoughts those are my opinions but i'm rooting for miss willow you know um those are the top two queens i think that's gonna make it to the end we're gonna find out who what's about to happen right now i'm totally excited oh yes you guys and a gift and a say thank you to you guys is on my patreon page i'm going to upload the season finale reaction so you can watch the full episode as well as watch my reaction to that episode on my patreon and um it's going to be for free if you guys can watch it. I'm going to have a link on my community tab. I'm going to post a link there so you guys can go straight to my um, video on my Patreon so you guys can watch the full reaction there with no cuts, no edits, unedited, raw, unfiltered. So you guys can check out how that is. And um, yes, so you guys will be watching with me. But first, you guys have to watch it here. Let me know what you guys think because I have some questions at the end and stuff. Also, you guys, can you please give this video a thumbs up because a thumbs up goes a very long way. It helps me and my channel out so much and really pushes the algorithm for my videos to be pushed out to the masses as well as sharing. And if you guys can share it on your platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all of that, even on YouTube or whatever, I would it would be greatly appreciated, you guys. So without further ado, let's see who is going to be crowned on RuPaul's Drag Race season 14. All right, we are here. You look good, bitch. Oh, yes, bitch. Throw the cast, honey. Yeah, we love Miss Willow Pill. Um, I don't see how that's any of your business. <laughs> <laughs> 
your car will be keyed. <laughs> <laughs> this is Carson and Ross, by the way. Oh. oh. <laughs> Just kind of falling in love with myself all over again. Love yes, that. love it, love it. I've got my mom and my sister. Oh. It's been the most meaningful experience. So much joy, so oh. much fun. We actually shopped together for her very first drag performance. Oh, that's it so sweet. Not... If an alien landed on Earth and asked you what a drag queen is, what would you say? A mental illness and rhinestones. <laughs> <laughs> so far to me, top two, Willow Pill and um, Lady Camden. Like I said in the beginning. <laughs> All right, girl. Mom is Jada. You look good, but I mean, her makeup always stand. You know she's a dancer, bitch. You know she's a dancer. She's gonna bring it. Ah, come on, Miss Trinity, bitch. Come on, Miss Olivia. Is that Miss Olivia? Okay, girl. Did she do something else to her face or something? Or what was going on with her makeup? Okay, girl. Bring you like the season 14 queens. I know that's right. Losing is a new winning and have all the girls up there. <laughs> yes, bitch. Top two, Miss Willow and Miss Lady Camden. Only two of you will be moving forward to the final lip sync for the crown. What? Is this a, is this a, a roulette? Roulette? The chosen to lip sync for the crown is... Because she picked it though, right? Lady Camden. Miss Willow Pill. Miss Willow Pill. <laughs> okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Good season, you guys. Good season. Come on, Miss Simone, girl. She legit came from the mall and walked on stage. No shade, I expected her to do a lot more than that. Is that winning is great, but being kind is everything. It is, baby. Yes, Miss Lala. It's a long way from bags, girl. No shade, Miss Congeniality is gonna be Miss Carrie Colby. I would pick Miss Carrie Colby. Season 14, we'll receive $10,000. Okay. Cornbread. Yeah. Okay, Miss Cornbread. What you gotta say? Um, what the f is wrong with y'all? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, this. Y'all, this is just a miscongeniality. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Miss Cornbread, girl. Walk it out, girl. With your bubble gum in your mouth and all that. Okay. I would also like to offer all the other radiant queens two thousand dollars. Oh. Oh, so this season they're just handing out cash. I want Willow Pill to win, but I think Lady Camden's gonna win solely based on her lip sync skills and performance. The winner of RuPaul's Drag Race will receive one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Who oh. doesn't have a Sasha Valore situation? She might lose. Come on, Miss Willow. <laughs> this ensemble, Miss Willow, is over. This is a perfect song for them both. <laughs> Miss Willow is almost killing me, bitch. Okay, I wish the reveal was a lot better than that, Miss Willow, but I digress. Miss Lady Camden, girl, pick it on up, girl. Ah, yeah. Oh, the girls decided to bring their ensembles out, bitch. That's right. No shit, they all they both look good. I'm sorry, but Miss Willow is getting this, bitch. Miss Willow. Miss Willow. Miss Willow, bitch. 
Miss motherfucking Willow, bitch. I didn't think Miss Willow had it in her, but she slayed that lip lipstick. It's Miss Willow's motherfucking money, and it's no shade. It's her crown, because they both get in money. The time has come to crown our queen. You made my decision. Willow! The winner of RuPaul's Drag Race, America's next drag superstar is... Willow! Willow! <laughs> yes, Miss Willow, I'm so happy for you, girl! You fucking did that, Miss Willow. And it was so deserved. First of all, I need to thank Cormorant's ankle. <laughs> Congratulations, Miss Willow Pill. That was such a good season, you guys. Thank you. Thank you to all the queens. Amazing. Okay, you guys. So that is the end of my reaction and review to RuPaul's Drag Race Season 14 season finale. We have our crowned queen of Season 14, which is Miss Willow Pill. I am so happy. So happy that she won. So deserving. Not only the fact that she fucking killed it throughout the season, she literally deserved it this episode. She did so good. She did. I, I it, it was, I was nervous. I didn't think that she was a good, like she was going to make it through the lip sync portion. I knew she was going to make it to the end, the top two, because I think she's creative and she, oh, let, let's just get into that. So, um, Obviously, all the girls came out. They, you know, showed the whole season. Um, the girls looked good. All of them looked great. None of them looked bad. Let's get into the Miss Congeniality portion. A, for sure, Miss um, Simone, you should have definitely came out something better than that. I mean, it wasn't a bad look. It's just the fact that you're on the main stage of RuPaul's Drag Race, um, you know, giving up your crown, you know, passing it on I would think that you have memorable queens like you know like um Miss Bianca Del Rio you have queens like freaking um like freaking um Violet Tchotchke you know coming back and you know giving her sending her crown off to another to, to the next queen and you're literally giving me jeans and a crop top I mean come on now girl you could have done better than that I was kind of disappointed in that look even though I love your girl but you could have you could have really done better um but miss Congeni congeniality to me no shade against cornbread i would have picked miss carrie colby because i think she was the most positive she uplifted everybody in in the group and i think that she stayed the longest and she made more connections with the girls and for cornbread to to get it to be sent off so early in the season and i don't know it was just it was just i guess what is what is your definition of Miss Congeniality to you guys? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's interesting. To me, my congeniality is it's somewhat different, I guess. I would have picked Miss Carrie Kobe, but it is what it is. Um, congratulations to Miss Miss Cornbread anyways. You're still getting ten thousand dollars as long and as well as the other girls in the season getting two thousand dollars, which I'm very impressed about. Literally sending cash throughout this whole season like that's crazy they are just giving cash away like it's nothing which i get actually it is nothing it is nothing to the drag race franchise because at the end of the day those girls deserve it the girls deserve every probably more no shade because the way they are making money off of this they definitely deserve it for sure um give the girls they roses and they cash and they coins um but yeah let's get into our top five um the girls had to perform each individual um numbers to show the uniqueness nerve uh, charisma charisma uniqueness nerve and talent and um yes miss angeria you did good i it shows it shows you off i mean i like the lyrics of the song it wasn't like a wow to me it was like oh it was cute whatever yeah, miss diabetti did really good i i really enjoyed miss diabetti um i mean you, I, I can't complain about Miss Diabet. I think she did. She looked really good. She did really good. I like the lyrics to her song as well. That was pretty cool. Then let's get into Miss Bosco. Miss Bosco, I enjoyed Miss Bosco. You look so gorgeous. You look sickening. Um, you know, it, it was a cute performance. I enjoyed it. It was it was cool. And then we're gonna get into Miss Lady Camden. I enjoyed Miss Lady Camden. I think she fucking killed it. Knocked it out of the ballpark when she spinned from literally the bottom up. And unraveled and the way she was spinning out of that with the hair um, hair reveal as well 
perfect. You nailed it. You literally put yourself in the top two right then and there. It was yours to take, literally. So, and you looked amazing doing it. And the reveal was actually cute, no shade. So yeah, then we're gonna get into Miss Willow Pill. You totally knocked it out of the ballpark with your performance. Your performance literally made you good in the top two as well. Um, I mean, it was it was everything. It was everything. You looked good. The reveals looked good. Everything about that performance was good, 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 good. And I'm happy that you made it to the top two. Speaking of the top two, Miss um, RuPaul comes down, names the top two, which is now Miss Willow and Miss Lady Camden, which to me I think were deserving. In the beginning, I told you guys before I reacted to the to the episode, I knew that I was like Miss Lady Camden is going to bring something. She's gonna she's she's fighting for this. I feel like she's gonna get it. And I already knew Miss Willow was going to bring something unique unique to it and put her spin on things. And Miss Rue loves that. So, you know, Miss Rue loves Miss Willow. Not to say that, not to say that she won because she loves her. She, she just, she won and it made it extra that Rue loved her. You know what I'm saying? So don't, don't try to put that into why she won. She won because she, she won. But, um, but yeah, ultimately, um, Lady Cam's and Miss Willow Pill had to lip sync um, for the crown and what can I say Willow Pill's ensemble in the beginning fucking amazing I loved it it was fun it was cute it was interesting it was unique and Miss Lady Camden's outfit to me I really didn't it wasn't like a wow factor to me it wasn't it didn't really like make me go oh wow that's sickening it was it was whatever it was cute um and then um so the first pill that Miss um Miss Willow did I mean, it wasn't impressive. It was like, okay, it was cute. It was still cute. It wasn't ugly. It was just like, okay, I expected more than that. But it made sense with what she had going on. She took off her coat. Underneath is the pants, clearly. And it was like literally her size, her body her body height, which was fun. It was cute and funny and flirty, whatever. And then, um, and that's just Miss Willow Pill style. So I get it. And then they both ended up revealing their, their, last, their last reveal at the same time. To me, they both had good sickening reveals and they honestly were similar a little bit bodysuits rhinestone to hell i personally loved miss um willows more i mean the color purple i love more and um i just like the way it was i like the way it was designed i like the at the thigh high all the way up rhinestone as well i mean i love the bodysuit i love both of their bodysuits miss lady camden with the red with the red everything looked good on both of the queens but to me ultimately Oh, and then let me know if you guys felt the same way. When Lady Camden fell to reveal like her wig and stuff and her and her reveal, I just felt like it wasn't as impactful as she did for the um, Freddie Mercury situation on the episode. You know what I'm saying? Because we kept on seeing her even throughout this episode when she was talking about you know her experience and and who she is and all this other stuff you know when she was in Vegas you see her like falling to the floor and you see her doing that same that same maneuver of falling and getting back up and like trying to like you know do something or reveal something like with with the thing over her lip or it, it was just we see we're seeing it too much we didn't need to see it again you know what I'm saying let me know if you guys felt the same way or am I being like okay girl but um but either way, you looked good, Miss Lady Camden. You fought the hell out of it. I mean, it was it was a good performance on both both the queens did it. But to me, I think Miss um, Willow deserved that lip sync win, and ultimately Miss RuPaul decided to give Willow the crown, which it was so deserving. And I'm so happy for you, Miss Willow. Congratulations to Miss Lady Camden for making it all the way to the end and looking phenomenal and doing great. But but. Um, also congratulations Miss Willow Pill for winning the season knocking out of the ballpark having a good season throughout it literally making the girls know who you are what you're about what you stand for who you are as a queen as a person as a trans lady thank you so much for bringing your light onto this competition onto the stage and to the world I appreciate it and I love it so much and um yes trans power miss um miss willow pill and um another trans girl has won 
RuPaul's Drag Race so that's another one in the books and I'm happy for that. Let me know what you guys think of this whole episode. What did you guys think about um, Miss Congeniality? Did you guys agree with Miss Congeniality? Um, did you guys agree with the top two and did you guys agree with the queen that won? I want to know all your guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below. Um, also I am going to be reviewing and reacting to um, RuPaul's Drag Race All Star 7 which is the all winner season you guys can check that out on my YouTube but if you guys want to check the full episode as well as watch my full reaction to All Star 7 and everything that I react to and as well as this episode you guys can check my Patreon which is going to be which is going to be linked down in the description box below and if you guys want to support me and my channel out some more you guys can hit up my website which is also going to be um, linked in the description box below too but yes all in all, I enjoyed this season. Thank you so much for you guys for continuing watching with me. I totally enjoyed you guys, your comments, your likes, all the support that you guys have been showing me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I truly appreciate it. And like always, life is your vision. It is whatever you make it, as long as you make it freaking fabulous. Until the next one, you guys. Bye.